you know, you can tell I really enjoy this game just based on the fact that I'm sitting there at work today and I could not wait to get home to play Jack 3. How's it going, kids? Uh, we're back. One more session, probably. I think we're 80 some odd percent of the way through the game. He is? Oh, I'm going to come kill that guy. Alright, my monk friend. Even though we're not friends, I'm going to come save you. Because I'm the hero. But yeah, I was uh, stoked all day at work. I was like, yeah, I can't wait to get home. And then, of course, I got home and I, uh, <laughs> I pulled a Danny and I uh, kind of fell asleep. But I'm awake now. Went to the gym. Had some dinner. I got a monster right here. We're going to crack it open in a few minutes. Get really in the mood for uh, some gaming. Uh, yeah, that's kind of where we're sitting right now, though. It's funny because for the majority of, like, 2023, I didn't really feel much a desire to play a game, right? And then, you know, I, I kind of got into Baldur's Gate a little bit. Not as much as a lot of people I know have or know of have. Um, I'd like to really... It's, it's one of those games where you kind of... I feel like you have to focus on it more. It's not like a passive game, kind of like... There's a lot of games out there where you can play and not really pay much attention. Borderlands, for example. Baldur's Gate to really... Like, it's a role-play game. You want to be part of the story. You're building your character. You're making decisions that, in theory, should be in line with your character's personality. So, I just... I need to be in the mindset to do such a thing. No distractions. You know what I'm saying? Uh, so... Yeah, all of 23, I didn't really get much into gaming. When I played, uh... Resident Evil 4, was that? Did that come out last year? That's only been out like a year, right? So I played a ton of that, but, you know, you play it through it once. You don't gotta focus so much on the story anymore. You, you know what's going on. And we go. We're gonna crack it open. Let's see if the mic picks it up. It looks like it kinda did. Got the uh, the green, no sugar, zero sugar one. I'm actually so, I hadn't drank like a, I don't drink like full sugar drinks. I'm just weird. Um, typically, like I'll grab like the white monster. That's a really good one. Or I think the blue one, like, I don't know. I grab the ones that are like 10, 20, 30 calories because I'm fat enough. And then... When I saw that they made these, I think it was when I was in Chicago. This past December was the first time I'd seen one. So, big fan though. Very much into the uh, the green flavor. I just hadn't had it in years because it was like eating half a sandwich every time I drank one. When I was having one monster a day, like don't need that much sugar so happy to be back on that little bounce I don't know what do you guys uh do you guys all drink energy drinks or what's your like uh cheat drink I suppose because like I do generally speaking I, I drink a lot of water like that's just I've always been a water guy good water is good water you know what i'm saying like i would take a nice absolutely freezing glass of water over just about anything you know occasionally i'll put some of those like flavor droplets into it but yeah just a nice cold water i'm happy But, like, yeah, Monster is my cheat drink. Um, 
I'm into like green tea. That's another like, I don't feel bad about drinking it. <laughs> Cause it's like pretty good for you. I have a weird relationship with coffee where like, I'll go on like a kick of it for a while. And then I'll just be like, okay, I don't want a coffee for like three weeks. I'm just tired of it. And I don't know the correlation causation, but it seems to kind of coincide with um, the type of coffee I'm getting. Like, it's expensive to go and buy a coffee every day from like a Dunkin' Donuts or a Honeydew. So like, I try not to do that. And, you know, we'll have the Keurigs. And, you know, I'll, I try different flavors of the Keurigs just to kind of see whatever. It's usually, like, I'll get a flavor that I'm not a huge fan of. I'll go through, I'll drink them because I spent $9 or whatever on these pods. Then I'll take a break for a while. Like, the, uh, a few weeks ago I got Snickers flavored ones. I was not a huge fan of those, truthfully. Oh, you guys are, you guys are mean. You're really mean. But I'm meaner. Is that a word, meaner? I feel like it's such a toddler-esque word. You're meaner. Yeah, yeah, I get it. I get it, I hurt your feelings. Can I pick that back up? No. I didn't know if I'd, like, recoup some ammo. You know, shout out to, uh, shout out to Preston. Uh, he gives me a bunch of little, um, factoids on the YouTube videos. It's just things that, like, once, once I read it from, it makes sense. It's like, hey, you know, that, uh, red shotgun, it's like an homage to the red eco in... Uh, the first game. And I would have never put that together. But then I read it and I'm like, oh. That makes sense. I'm assuming we go through here, yeah? Because, yeah, they kind of... Ooh, you went to boom. They kind of didn't bring back... I don't want to say didn't bring back the Ecos... But definitely feels a lot less importante, you know, <laughs> other than the dark eco, which went from turning Buddy Boy into a muskrat and then Jack into a demon. Yeah, I like this one. This one makes me feel powerful. Give me that. Oh, monk, where are you? My monk for... Hmm. That was uh, a multiverse-esque battle. Does that do much? Yeah, the electric lightning wonder waft does not do much. The shotgun... Oh, I'm out. <laughs> I was going to say, the shotgun's great. Don't, doing a lot of damage, and then I'm out of ammo. Heal up a little more. Give me that. Yeah, we, uh... Um... Dragon Ball Z! I am Goku. Yeah, I think I might start watching that show at some point. Listen, bud. Get out of here. Like, I don't know, like, 
it, it's funny because like I don't know about you guys, but in like high school, like I had friends who were like into anime, and he, I mean I still do, but like it was still one of those like wow, only nerds watch that shit, and uh, believe me, I'm a total nerd. But there was things that I was just like, I would not admit to being interested in, just for my own ego, because I'm like, I don't want to deal with the repercussions of being into fucking Naruto or something. Um, so I also did not watch a lot of things, because I didn't want to like get into them and become like one of those dudes, because I, I was enough of a loser, I didn't need any help being more of a loser. So, like, yeah, I never got into Dragon Ball. Uh, what was the show? My buddies were into Bleach, but that's another show I never. How do I go invisible again? I want to be invisible. Do I just touch this thing? I thought, I thought the uh, platform thing, the pole, I guess, was going to lower down for me. Will you open if I, I can't break you. No. All right, I'm missing something. I got so into talking about how much of a loser I am, but I'm not, that I don't know what to do. Oh. You sneaky bastard. Hiding in the wall. The wall was hiding in the wall, man. <clears throat> Ooh. Give me that. I'll take this full health. Thank you very much. We need more of those around. And, you know, ammo regeneration would be nice. Can we get a superpower for that next, please? Because I am definitely... My money! Oh, you monkey fucker. Coming over here and blast me with that? I'll blast you away, asshole. Boop. Mine. Oh, I pressed the wrong button. That could have been really tragic if I had, like, wasn't really paying attention. I just skateboarded off of the map. I see that eco is up there, so I'm just healing up because... Am I going to get ambushed? No. Okay. Thank you. Yeah, comic books too. I wanted to get into comic books at some point. I just never did. I was at Savers earlier, and they... Were, they have a new section, I guess. A bunch of comic books. And I was like, kind of looking. It's like a buck for a book. I'm like, that's not terrible. Hey, demon. And once again, your heroism shall be rewarded. Oh, yeah? I, give you -like power. I remember this. R. Kelly. Yeah, I'm like straight up Lucifer over here. I don't know, am I supposed to keep exploring in there? Because I'm not. Give me all of these metalheads. I keep a collection of uh, skulls of things that I've killed or found. Yeah, I found a squirrel on the side of the road, and, uh, you know, I'm into taxidermy, so I collected its skull and stuffed its body. With what? You don't want to know. Ooh. 
What are your thoughts on taxidermy? Is that like a, a hobby you're into? I actually, I know one person who like does that and it's not for me. More power to them being like into that and stuff. It's great, but something about playing with Playing with dead bodies of things doesn't really do much for me. It was telling me to t Ooh. I am rich. Is that a golden egg? What's this? I know what it is. It took me a second. It's that little shield thing. I thought it was like breaking the uh, crates. Like, I don't know. So I just timed it poorly. Or maybe I wasn't supposed to go the way I did. Whatever. I'm collecting all this good stuff. I don't see like a timer or anything for how long I can be the angel. I'm just gonna keep exploring. I think that's everything there was to explore to be honest. I just wanted to collect my goods. Yeah, because that's not where I can go. Yeah, it must be where I was flying. I probably just didn't time it right. Give me this. You know, if I don't explore, I don't get all these metalheads, though, so. I'm all about it. I do, like, vaguely remember how hype I was, like, when I first played this way back in, like, 2000-whatever. And I could fly was just the most wickedly awesome thing I had seen in a long time in gaming. And at that point, I had so much experience with gaming. I was like, Pokemon Yellow, RE4. It's like Cooper, I guess. I'm trying to, like, give a general idea as to what games I might have played at the time. I don't even know what came out first. Or what I would have had at what time. Oh, I wasn't supposed to go over there, was I? I was supposed to go here. No? So where was I supposed to go? Do I go down here? No? <laughs> I'm like, I'll fly over there. No. Don't press the button too quickly, or else you will fall further faster. Doesn't it look like I could go down there? I definitely can. Hold on. No. Not right now, I can't. Either I've been able to be down there before... Or I'll be there later. I was a little... Convinced. That the reason I died the first time was because I was technically falling off of the map into that little chasm. But that has just... Confirmed that I can't go down there. Even though I can fly. With the wings of a demon. You guys ever read up on demons? I used to love uh, 
there was a show on. I think it was AMC. Uh, I don't. It might still be a show. I don't know. But it's called A Haunting. And it was just like this spooky, like, you know, it's a ghost show. Like, oh, there's a demon living in this house possessing the fucking cactus in my living room. And I need to figure out how to get rid of it and communicate with it and stuff. I used to love, absolutely love that. It would, it would creep me out. Hey, monk. I got over here. Mm-hmm. Um, I just got an email. I I went to the Silver Scream uh, convention. That's the S9 Kills thing. They do it kind of local to me. And I bought a record. And I was a little disappointed because the conversation I had with the... Major shut up. Alright, I'm on the way. I'm on the way. Damn straight. On the way, Captain. Father. Captain Daddy. Um, yeah, I was a little disappointed because the conversation I had with the person behind the counter, uh, they had put out a book, and I knew that they had recorded the audiobook onto vinyl. And the record I picked up, it was like $100. So I'm like, oh, it must be the audiobook. And I asked, like, oh, that's the Silver Screen book on vinyl? And they're like, yeah. So I bought it, and I was, like, so stoked on it. I'm like, I don't have any audiobooks on vinyl. That's just something cool. Um, anyways, I get home. I open the record, and I go to listen to it, and it's just a copy of The Silver Scream 2. Which, it that became my third copy of the album. I'm like, okay, less than stoked on this. But I guess... Uh, I don't know, maybe a month ago now, I got a thing was like, hey, be sure to scan the the code on the record sleeve, and we'll send you a signed um, thing. I guess it just shipped. I like I completely forgot about it. But I'm getting a signed piece of merch. I don't know, I don't really... Some people really care about having their things signed. Like, it's cool. I've got a couple of signed pieces of thing. Um, or guitar picks that I've gotten from shows, and I, I believe me, I quite enjoy them. They're cool to have, but I don't know. They don't. I'm not the same level as some people. They're like, yeah, I need everything signed. Like Dave Grohl put out a book, and like I could have gone to a store and purchased a signed copy. I didn't care enough to do so. I think partial. A part, partial thing is, like, if it's not signed, like, with me standing there, I don't care as much. Like, you can go on eBay and buy a signed CD from whoever, and, you know, assuming it's a real signature, you know, there's people who do that shit. It's just a lot more impersonal than, like, hey, I met, like, I met Spence from Ice Nine Kills. Uh, they were doing a pop-up thing. And... I bought a couple CDs because I didn't have anything on CD. And I was like, hey, do you mind signing one of these? Cool. I got something signed. I have a bit of a story with it now. You know, brief little tiny conversation. The guy in line in front of us smelled really badly. Like, dreadfully bad. And then uh, got into an argument with the guy over the best uh, roast beef sandwich on the North Shore. Oh, they're like in the city in the city. Good luck. I'm just gonna skip. I was gonna skate, but that's clearly not working. 
Hey, the dude got into an argument with uh, Spencer about the best roast beef. An argument was is a very generous term for the conversation. The guy kind of talked at the singer, at Spencer. He was like, oh, that interview from fucking 2017 where you said this roast beef is the best, you're wrong. And yeah. Homeboy's like, I have no clue what you're talking about, but whatever you say, man. <laughs> Whatever you say, you don't think it's the best sandwich, then I'll believe you. I don't know, moral of the story is that's a little cooler than, hey, I bought this on eBay. At least to me. Yeah, I don't, I don't have a ton of sign stuff, and I don't need it. I don't need it! Oh. I will use the gun, please. I don't like the gun. Open up with a gun. Fire. Fire. I'm firing, I'm firing. Shoot the incoming missiles, Jack. I I'll try. Captain Father. You've got, you've got to have more more than one gun, right? I mean, nothing, nothing. Like, the city defenses, you should have more than one one gun. In a world such as this... You can't rely on one, dude. What if I had a bellyache? What if I had way too much Chipotle last night? And the beans were just getting to me, man. I watched like a uh, hour long YouTube video. I am not hitting these shots at all, man. I'm actually str struggling. You're taking hits. Yes, I see that. I don't have any assistance here. Music even cut out. It's like, dude, you're doing awful. Yeah, it was the, like this hour-long documentary thing. This dude ate Chipotle every day for 30 days. And he, like, went to di a couple of different locations and, like, tracked, like, the size of the burrito, the weight. Basically trying to... I guess there's some conspiracy that Chipotle doesn't, like, have a standard, like amount of food that they give you for whatever the price and uh yeah he ate, ate just chipotle i think it was just chipotle for the 30 days and i don't know it was a fascinating video in the sense of like hey it's just it's kind of cool like i don't know my girlfriend's like oh i could never do that i could never eat the same thing every day for like 30 days i'm like i'm pretty sure i could like Give me a plate of eggs every morning. I'm happy. I could, I, yeah, I. Relatively speaking, I could eat a pretty, what most would call a boring meal every day. Seriously, where's, uh, where's Sig? He should be over here, like, kicking some ass. Helping me on this turret. Get a car in here. Like, you're telling me there's no way that a car could have gone in here and helped fuck these guys up? There's a lot of them. Only one more machine left. Oh. <laughs> Only one more? I'm just not even going to care about the uh, projectiles. I'm just going to go for him. There we go. I did it. I did it. I did it. Hooray. You did it, Jack. This mm -hmm. is a sign of possibility. This is a grim, but what great cutscene of Haven City. Time seemed grim then too. Take hope. Even the smallest weed finds shelter within the rocks. Wait, you were once the leader of Haven City? I came to the throne during the middle of the Metalhead Wars. Baron Praxis This is a great movie. Me and banished me to the wasteland. The rest you know. Anyway, here is your third and final battle amulet. 
You are one of us now. I'm one of them. Thank you. What is it? This rare precursor armor is said to have been worn by Mar himself. I was saving it for my own son. But right now, you should wear it in this difficult time. Thanks. I don't have anything for you. You give us all hope, Jack. That is gift enough. Welcome. I'm going to cry. It's a shame that that cutscene didn't work. <laughs> 